We are not working from home today, guys. We actually have to go into the office. They be like, oh my God, I have to cancel. And I'm like, girl, you're doing me a favor. It came out real good. It was muy delicioso. <gasps> it's gonna be cute in the side part. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your Sarah Brianne. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the fam because at this point we are besties, okay? So lock in for what we go. Um, I believe this is gonna be a week in my life, a little weekly vlog. I usually don't do these, so I'm excited. I really don't know like what's gonna happen throughout the week, but that's why it's so like cool to do these, right? So right now it is it's Wednesday, and right now we are working from home i just got out of a meeting hence why i look so nice and put together and now i'm gonna make me some lunch so y'all last night i ordered pho i ordered pho this is how it come and then the actual pho like the soup and the broth and the meat be in like a big container i'm about to break down my noodles child i'm nervous because i think i have too much noodles and not enough broth and i love the broth like that's the most important part like <laughs> but i got oxtail pho for the first time y'all and it was too fast it was so good but i don't really appreciate how they only gave me when i say a little bit of motherfucking oxtails and it was 22 dollars. i got two pieces of oxtail and then you can add whatever else meat you wanted. So I added steak. They gave me two pieces of oxtails. And one barely had any meat on it. Like it was a lot of fat. And I was pissed. Okay. Pissed. Warmed up my broth on the stove. And now I'm about to pour it over my noodles. But I'm going to do it over the, over the sink, child. Ooh, don't pop me, don't pop me, don't pop me. Okay, I actually have enough broth. I had to pull some damn chicken broth in there to stretch it out because I ate some of this last night, but I thought I was going to have enough for the next day. Turns out I didn't. So I hope it tastes good because I let the meat like sit in there a little bit. Put in my basil. I'm going to add in my raw onions and cilantro i'm dropping shit but how was y'all wednesday going so far okay tell me in the comments how your week has been what's going on what you got to do what's on the to-do list i'm adding my what are these bean sprouts i'm adding them they gave me a lot of these and then i'm gonna squeeze my lime i got some fresh lime in the refrigerator too but i don't feel like getting it and this is actually still very juicy we love that i also ordered some bomb uh pork egg rolls from them girl too good hold on let me taste this broth before i add anything to it they gave me a little spoon oh that tastes good even with adding the chicken broth because um i had let the meat like sit in there or whatever Oh, yeah, y'all can see it. It looks so good. Hold on, this broth. Mmm. Delicioso. Cheers, bestie. Want some pho? And do y'all see how my skin is just thriving? I know I got the little blur effect on my camera. I don't know how to take it off. Mmm. Mmm. But it's because I got some new skincare products. I got some Korean skincare. And it's been doing my skin justice, honey. And if you want to know what I use in my skincare, I think I got a YouTube short already up. But I use Jamiso Korean skincare and Laneige Korean skincare. Chef's kiss. Oh, do y'all see my nails? I tried a new nail shape for the first time ever. And I did it by myself. I did it by myself. This is Jill X. Hello. I wanted to try the little, like, you know, sharp almond shape. And I was nervous because, like, every time I saw some, every time I see somebody with this nail style, I just be like, you're too young. Like, that's for old women. But yeah, I think the rest of today, I'm just gonna chillax. Um, tomorrow, I have to go into work like in person so i think i'm gonna come back on camera later today because i want to prep for tomorrow as best as i can with you guys so 
um yeah stay tuned because i'm gonna include y'all with that process okay all right so my last meeting of the day got canceled so let's do some makeup we are starting off with the primer this is the jelly pop from elf um, I love when my meetings get canceled. Like, yes. People at my job be feeling so bad. They be like, oh my god, I have to cancel. And I'm like, girl, you're doing me a favor. <laughs> because I'm tired anyways. So, like, yes, go ahead and cancel that meeting, please. And the only reason why I'm doing my makeup right now, in the middle of the day, is because, one, we get to film content. Love that for me. But, two, I want to do this makeup look tomorrow, like, before I go to work. And I've never, I'm doing no foundation today. And I've never done that. So, I'm, like, minus well, okay? I love this Jelly Pop. It's so sticky. Like, do you see the movement of my cheeks? Like, that's crazy. Now, I'm going in with Juvia's Place Concealer. Because we are doing no freaking foundation and i am in the color 17 i got this from ulta obviously and it's a really good color match it's light though because i like a super bright under eye okay and i don't know last time it wasn't like blending out correctly and i'm really trying to figure out why i think it's because i sprayed my beauty blender with um my charlotte tillsbury Setting spray and sometimes Charlotte Tillsbury don't don't go well with my um makeup if I'm applying it directly to my sponge and then I'm blending it out. I don't really be liking that, so I'm gonna let this sit. I don't know why I'm tripping. I did not. I don't think I'm gonna do my forehead, but I'm gonna do my 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 nose. So I feel like if I do my forehead, it's just gonna bring more attention to the forehead, and I'm not putting foundation, so. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this all out. It looks super bright, being so I have on no foundation. I probably should have put on less. Yikes. If anything, I probably just want to take my foundation and brush and blend it out with the, with the, you know, the old product. Because, oh my God, this is so bright. And blend out the rest. But I'm not adding product. Like, I'm literally just using the brush. But I'm glad I, I'm doing this now and not tomorrow because if I was doing this tomorrow, before I had out to work, I would have been like, oh girl, you done royally fucked up. Like, you have royally fucked up. You have royally fucked up. I would like, shut your ass down. You ain't going nowhere. You thought you was going to work. <laughs> so, no, I still would have went to work. I just would have, um immediately took the shit off like it would have scared me and i don't know if you are some person like me who just experiences a lot of anxiety you have to do stuff like this like you have to prep in advance i do stuff like this all the time like let me do it the night before to see how it's gonna look so i don't run into any problems tomorrow like yesterday i went shopping for like some new professional clothes and i already put my outfit on just because i wanted to make sure everything was going like look right you know all right that look way better right i just went in with no product just my brush my foundation brush and like blended out the edges because that was too crazy but we looking way better now so now i'm gonna go with my fenty beauty this is in the this is the pro filter in cashew and i'm gonna get my little powder brush and i'm gonna put this powder all down here and on my forehead and hopefully this like blurs my skin out so it kind of looks like i got on foundation without having on foundation i saw uh jada jada beta she did her makeup using just powder and it came out really nice i just hope i don't look ashy i'm gonna be using my black radiance this palette has gone through it i'm hitting pan on like every single shade um, I mix these two. Just to give my face a little something, something. Now I take this little brush and I go in with the lighter shade. And I lightly contour my nose. Just be giving it a little shapey shape. Then I'm taking Laura Mercier. This is in the color translucent. And this goes directly under my eye. Let's see if 
the Juvia's Place goes well with the Laura Mercier. Because last time, I didn't know what was messing it up, but I think we figured it out. I'm going to go with my blush. This is from Merit. It's in the color Beverly Hills. Yeah. Yeah. And this is my blush brush. Yeah, and I like a lot of brush. I mean, I like a lot of blush. New beauty blenders just be so pretty, like... You do know that you are obviously strikingly gorgeous, yes? Yes. I'm going to go in with the Tartlet Soothing Mascara from Tarte. So we're going to coat our lashes. I'm really doing this with no mirror. Because I am that girl. Alright. Huh, I'm not even going to... I'm going to do it today just because I love a good lip. But tomorrow, I'm not wearing liner. I'm not wearing lip liner. I'm just doing clear gloss. Because I just want my lips to be moisturized. I don't want to have to worry about reapplying anything all day. I'm about to be in meetings talking all day. This is the Sephora lip gloss in the color Outrageous. Outrageous. She's a lip plumber though. So I don't really be messing with her a lot. Because I don't like the way it makes my lips feel. But it's so pretty. It smell like mint. And then I top her with Sephora in, so this is Outrageous Intense, and this is just Outrageous. Because they both O2. Yep. Outrageous, Outrageous Intense. I guess that's why it's red. Ooh, Intense. We're going to start everything with Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I'm about to use the brow pen to give me my mold back. Like, I got a mold right here. Hold on, I need a mirror. Ugh. I feel like I'm shaking. Starking it up. Uh-oh. I put two damn dots. Oh well. I got two little fake dots back to back because I'm not about to mess it up. Okay, this is my final no foundation look. Did it eat or not? Tell me in the comments down below. Got makeup all on my shirt. But yeah. You can see everything with no foundation. I see all my hairs. Okay, it's giving shade my face tonight. Definitely. I got a little creasing around the nose. Okay. I'm blend that out. I'm gonna put less. I'm not gonna drag it, drag it down all the way down here. I'm just gonna put a little bit under my eye. Real minimal tomorrow. Real minimal. Okay, that's gonna be the word. Minimal. Anyways, I'm probably gonna catch back up with y'all uh, tomorrow morning when I'm getting ready for work, and I will tell you. How to make up last day okay hey y'all good morning i'm vlogging off my camera right now because i mean i'm vlogging off my phone right now because i'm definitely not bringing my camera out and i don't even want to like mess with it because i'm literally about to leave out in the next 10 minutes makeup is cute i'm so glad that i like practiced on my makeup yesterday because it came out fire i did it a little differently like like i said i use less product and stuff and i also set my under eye with Fancy instead of the Lord Mercier, and I think it came out better just because it's not as bright. This pimple blowing me, but anyways, we're doing our edges, and I'm gonna put my claw clip on like in the Uber because we be laying back, it'd be uncomfortable. Okay, y'all, so excuse my run, but this was the jacket I was gonna wear because it's cold outside, but it just makes the whole fit look really, really plain, like it's too. It's too much new going on. But yeah, y'all, this is a regular black top from Zara. These pants are super duper cute. They kind of like fit me snug though, so I definitely want to wear something over it. And then my little loafers are so cute. They also are from Zara. But I think I'm going to put on this jacket because it just gives some dimension. So let's see, because we got to go. 
yeah i'm definitely gonna do this little jacket instead this is actually my grandmother so yes it makes me look really old and professional but i like it because it definitely gives the outfit a little something something you know all right let's head out Hey y'all, so I just got home from work. Work and socializing took me out today. And you know, the old Jatera would have been like, uh-uh, Uber Eats City is, I'm not cooking, but the new Jatera is trying to do better, okay? So I'm about to make me some broccoli cheddar soup from scratch. I got all the ingredients and I'm super excited. So I'm probably just gonna show y'all like, real quick clips of it, cause it don't even take too much to do, okay? So you're ready to learn something. I feel delusional. I need a drink. But anyways, let's cook. Y'all, when I said I felt delusional, I meant to say I felt drunk. Because I had a few glasses of wine with my co-workers after our long work day. But anyway, so let's get into this broccoli cheddar soup. First things first, you got to melt you down some butter so you can saute your vegetables. We doing onion first and then we're going to add our garlic in later. You just want to sweat this down until it looks transit, uh, translucent in color. And in order to sweat down some vegetables, you got to add salt. And do y'all see this? fancy ass salt shaker that my mama got me i love her she always buying me something anyways add pepper because you know salt and pepper just go together and i feel like if you add your garlic at the same time as you add your onion to the pot your garlic gonna burn because it cooks faster so i always do it afterwards or whatever because you know i like to think that i'm a little chefy chef like i feel like i know something y'all i don't know but then you want to add some flour because you need a thick base to create your soup because you don't want no runny ass soup, girl. So this is like a roux, I guess. I don't know. But you want to make sure that you cook down your flour prior to adding chicken stock. And can somebody in the comments tell me what's the difference between chicken broth and chicken stock? I say them like interchangeably. So whichever one floats your boat, that's what you should use. And you know... Stir so is well incorporated, and let me tell y'all the seasonings that I use throughout my uh my soup. I use onion powder, garlic powder, celery salt, uh pepper, of course, and then my mama left this chicken el pollo little seasoning at my house, girl. So I've been using it because if you leave food at my house, baby, it's definitely getting ate. So I went the easy way, and I bought my shredded curds because who the fuck was gonna shred them? Not me. And these are hard and crunchy, so you gotta make sure that. You know, put them in there early so they can get real soft. A lot of people use frozen broccoli, but I had all this fucking broccoli in my house that my mama left. And wasn't I was not just going to eat bowls of broccoli every day to get rid of them. And I don't believe in throwing away food, child. So I had to make a new meal out of the broccoli. And I'm like, boom, broccoli cheddar soup. Because, y'all, this is my favorite kind of soup. Uh, I don't know. Favorite? That's pushing it. But, you know, hold on. Let me get back to the video. <laughs> Once you let the vegetables, you know, cook down or whatever, you got to add your half and half or your whipping cream, whatever you want to use. And, you know, season, seasoning in layers. Yes, yeah, so I'm adding everything that I did already in addition to some sloppy mama. And then I added these cheeses. But, hmm, I like broccoli cheddar soup. I like bacon, potato soup, shit, chicken noodle soup. I'm a soup kind of girl. But this is my first time making broccoli cheddar at home, and it was too far. Like, you see that creamy, cheesy deliciousness? I will say next time, I'm going to cook. I'm going to use uh, the, you know, the blocks of cheese. Because they say, you know, word around town is, they say uh, shredded cheese got a film over it, like a coating to make it last longer. And I don't know. I felt like. My my soup was too cheesy, if that makes sense. So I'm going to use a different type of cheese next time. But it came out real good. It was muy delicioso. Y'all, I just love food. I'm a fat ass. But anyways, I topped it off with some more cheese and some chives because I'm a tired of parsley. And if you know, you know, this bread, this brown bread from Cheesecake Factory is too fucking good. But yeah, this is how I ended my night, you guys. So I hope y'all enjoyed my little tutorial. Hey, y'all. So it is the next day. 
I feel like my camera needs to be wiped off. I came with my cycle. I'm not sure if that's going to be TMI for you, but if so, my bad. And the only thing that I have in me today in order to be productive is to do something to my head. And after that, I'm going to order me some mofa or some chipotle because I'm craving both of them and I don't know which one I want. I'm putting on twilight because it's supposed to rain later and I am laying on my couch and I'm not moving for the rest of the day. But first, we're going to do something to this head. So if you watch the video that I posted right before this, you will see that I picked up the K18 hair treatment or whatever, girl. And I spent a pretty penny on this product. So I am going to do it for the second round. You're supposed to do it four times before you like really can tell the difference in your hair, right? The bottle says new hair in four minutes. They lied. They lied because I still have a lot of heat damage. So um, anyways, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to style my hair as normal. But I'm washing it out because that's what you're supposed to do. And then I'm going to try the sock curl method. I'm going to blow my hair out. On cool because I'm tired of the heat damage and then I'm gonna try to do the soft method so we're gonna see what it gives okay they say you're supposed to put it in your hands until it turn white I did not do this the last time it's white so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my head and then as I'm doing it I'm gonna like finger detangle and then I'm gonna twist it up because you're supposed to keep it in your head for four full minutes four minutes child y'all probably like what the hell just heard didn't you just say you stand away from heat why do you have a blow dryer I promise you this is only gonna put out cool air no heat promise you I promise you I'm, I promise you. And I'm going to go in with this. This stuff. I don't know if it works. It's almost empty. So if I run out of that, I'm going to use this. We know this shit don't work. But it's like, even though I'm doing it on cool air, I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. Okay. y'all know but the key to getting your hair to like relax and actually look like it's blown out after you blew it out on cool is to pin it and let it continue to cool and rest like when I first did this side it was out here and y'all probably think I put heat in my hair I promise you I did not um I wouldn't have been able to like hold the thing like this like I was really like holding the barrel I wouldn't have been able to do that if um I was doing it with low or heat because this joint get hot but yeah that's the trick to let it cool i let it sit for like 10 15 minutes okay so this is what we have right now i'm really really tempted to cut some of my ends just because i've been trying to do that every single time i wash my hair to like gradually get rid of the damage but i'm not gonna do it because i think that will set me back while doing the style that i'm trying to do right now which is the sock thing because i don't want my ends to be too blunt because then they're not going to wrap around the sock feel me now see this is the part they get me because they'll get their little sock right they'll get their little sock or whatever and they'll get a clip like this and they'll clip the sock nothing's supposed to do it this way though so you could have the opening at the bottom they'll clip the sock like that <laughs> i want my hair to go away from my face so i'm gonna wrap it away i've seen some people grab all of their hair and wrap it i've seen some people like take bits of their hair and wrap it around i'm not doing that i'm gonna wrap all my hair right and my concern is how do they make the hair stick at the bottom should i be twisting my hair as i twist to the I just broke the fucking clip. Are you shitting me? Do I hold on to it and just... <sighs> no, I shouldn't have took the clip out. Yeah. 
Y'all gotta be fucking kidding me. That whole sock situation can kiss my ass. I'm going back to what the fuck I know. Cause it's gonna give me the same result. I want like loose, barely there curls. So I'm just gonna do four big ass sections. How about that? Just like I was gonna do with the socks. So I'm just gonna take um, a flexi wire and hook it. Twist my hair around it as tight as I possibly can. I really wanted to do the stock method because I don't like sleeping with these things in my head. They always hurt. They always hurt. And I'm like, ooh, okay, a sock is soft. I'll be straight. And you see how, like, I've cut my hair right there before I did my braids. It was popping out. That's why I knew I wasn't going to be able to, like, trim my ends because... It would have been popping out way worse. My expectations are at the flow, okay? And if it come out cool, and period, this is what I'm about to do until I get my next, like, style, style. Like, until I do my next protective style. We're gonna put on this big bonnet. Um, we're gonna see what we look like tomorrow morning. It's the next day. It's not even morning time. Hopefully the background noise goes away soon because I just turned off my heat so y'all can hear me better. But we are about to take the hair down. Oh, and I did my nails last night, y'all. Just like off the rent, like just because I felt like it out of nowhere. So I didn't film it, but it came out so good. If you are curious, these are gel X tips, right? But I didn't use the gel glue that it come with. I use like regular press on nail glue and they are durable they're not going to wear and i hand painted my frenchies like name something that i can't do name something that i can't do please okay and i'm really just like untwisting them and pulling them down versus pulling them up because i don't want much frizz at all so just unfold And then pull down. They looking nice and curled and formed right now. <sighs> let's see if let's see about this up. You see the bounce back? Okay. That was uncomfortable to sleep in. I ain't gonna lie. It's better than having like a thousand of them in your head at once. But I was still uncomfortable. Not gonna lie. It's looking good so far, y'all. All I'm gonna do is just lightly, ever so lightly touch my hair. And like, ever so lightly just pull it apart. Ever so lightly. And like fluff out the area that it was parted in. But like I'm ever so lightly touching my hair. Like I'm not trying to mess with it too much at all. So just like pull, 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 pull. Like in a downwards motion and pull apart. That's all I'm doing. And then I'm going like this. With my fingers kind of like teeth just to pull only at the roots at the part where it was like parted and sectioned out at not this being cute not this being a look now i ain't gonna cap to you the middle part is like ugh. and i see texture at my roots i'm gonna like Fluff the back out a little bit to get rid of the middle part back here. But other than that, I wonder if it'll be cute in like a side part. <gasps> it's gonna be cute in the side part. It's it's gonna be cute in the side part. <laughs> Hold on. It's giving like 60s, but my hair feels so good. 
like i didn't put no oil in it or anything to like take them down but my hair still feels moisturized and it's not frizzy it's just fluffy but i kind of like that look but i don't even have no edge control y'all i'm about to take a little bit of this gel because this stuff flakes just to like do a little something to my baby hairs just something just something okay little hairstyle it's a giving what the back look like I don't know what it looked like. <laughs> I just feel like it looked crazy. But yeah, y'all, this all I'm about to do is put a little mascara on to get prepared for this meeting just so I look presentable. And that's it for this weekly vlog. My battery died, so I'll see y'all next time. Bye, mama. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, yeah.